Good boy. All right. So, hi, everybody. Welcome back again. Stay right there, Nico. Don't you move a muscle. Okay, so in this video, I thought I would introduce my cats. So here we are. This is Miko. He is so cute. He is all black. As you can see, I call him my little house panther because he looks like a little panther. And if you notice on his collar, you go show them your collar. He's not going to show. But um, he has little fishies. And they're so cute. And he looks freaking adorable. Alright. Here we go. And then next we have my baby Coco. Um, Come on, Coco. You doing okay? Just tired. Yeah, it's the middle of the night and I'm making my cats do this. I'm sorry, babies. This is my tuxedo kitty, Coco. Short for Coco Um. And he is absolutely precious. When I got them both, they were both like skin and bones. And now they are gaining so much weight, which I am really happy to see. But I think I'm going to start feeding them less. They really need to lose a little weight. So the way that my house works, sorry, my bangs. I literally just woke up because I couldn't sleep and I felt like talking to you guys. So um, the way it works at my house, my mom started seeing a new guy and he has a big dog. His name is Blue. And so when Blue's over, I don't feel comfortable having my cats roaming around the house. Um, just in case Blue decides to attack and eat my cats or something. Or like if Eric goes out and doesn't watch the door behind him, I know for sure Coco would go running and zoom out that door immediately. So I leave them in my room while I'm not at home, when I'm at work, or if I'm not downstairs playing with them. Um, so they definitely need more exercise. They need less food. That's for sure. I just, I love them so much. And when they beg for food, I'm like, of course, baby. Of course I'm going to give you more food. But I think that's kind of harming them instead of helping. So, um, so anyway, I know in my last video, the dirty, flirty, and 30 questions about me. Um, I did mention that my best friend, Nicole, gave these kittens to me as a surprise. So I'll go a little more into detail about that. So when I received these kittens, she said, Kayla, I have to show you something. Please come over after work. And I said, oh, God, what is it? And she said, I can't tell you. It's a surprise. And I said, okay, fair enough. I like surprises. I really do. Um, and so I go over to her house after work. And I walk in, and she's like, you're going to hate me for this. And I was like, what? You slept with my man? Not that I even have a man. And she was like, no, 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 nothing like that. Here, let me show you. And so she runs out back to her car outside. And in comes um, Nicole and our friend Dave. And they're holding two little kittens. And they were so small and fragile and skin and bones and I was like oh my god they're so cute 
At first I thought they were for Nicole, and then Nicole just looks at me holding, I think she was holding Coco at the time. And I go, <gasps> Oh my god, they're for me? And she goes, yes. And that's when I became the caregiver of Coco and Nico. So that was one of the most amazing times of my life. That was such a special gift. She didn't have to do that. She went out of her way to even do that for me. So I really, I'm truly grateful to Nicole and Dave because Dave went with her. So I'm really happy. I couldn't ask anything more. Oh my god, look at them. Can you see them? They are both pretty dark. But Miko is giving Coco a bath. Oh, they're so cute. You have no idea. And so anyway, um, I got them after I mourned the deaths of losing my cat Rudy first about two and a half years ago, maybe three now. Um, and then I lost Bud last December, right before Christmas. So I really wanted some cats in my life and Nicole made it happen. And although my mom was not pleased at first, she has come around and she loves them now. They do get into quite a bit of trouble, I will say. Um, they knock shit over all the time. They eat my food when it's left unattended. They sip my drinks. And so I have to use stuff like this so they don't get to it, or if they knock it over, it doesn't spill completely on my floor. So, uh, yeah, but they're the greatest gift, honestly. Um, I can't imagine my life without them now. Um, and so when we were picking out names, okay, so here's the real story. When we were picking out names, Nicole told me that the black and white one now named Coco, was a girl, and that Miko, the black one, was a boy. And so for about two weeks, I was calling Coco Poca, short for Pocahontas, which is where I got their names from, the animated Disney film Pocahontas. And um, I was calling him Poca, and I even had his collar embroidered and it said polka had my cell phone number and Miko was always Miko and so then I went to the vet and I was like hey uh, I'm not sure if girl cats look like this could you just double check with the vet and she said yeah of course I'll be right back I said okay so she comes back and she said well, you have two healthy baby boys on your hands. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> so I had to change his name in the computer system and everything. But um, they're such delights. Really, they are. As much trouble as they may give me sometimes, I definitely appreciate them. And I love them to the core of my being. Um, so another thing I had to deal with after getting Coco and Miko was the fact that they got fleas. We don't know exactly where they got fleas from, but they got fleas. And so we had to come up with a remedy, a um, process to get rid of the fleas, obviously. I don't want my cats having fleas and being uncomfortable all the time and being eaten at, like that's not good. And so over time, we started giving them Frontline and we had this flea and tick 
carpet powder that we'd sprinkle on my carpet and then vacuum up after about an hour. And um, yeah, and that worked. And then obviously weekly flea baths, I would have to give them. So I got pretty scratched up. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty scratched up from that. And so anyway, it's about, what do you say guys? Like three months later? It's about three months later and they're gone. The fleas are gone, uh, which I'm really happy about. I'm, I'm so glad my kitties don't have to deal with that anymore. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm so in love. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words, really. Um, you know, the worst part about them having fleas was the fact that it couldn't be an immediate answer or remedy. So I knew I'd have to treat them for a while. I wasn't sure how long. I'm actually grateful that it didn't take so long as I anticipated. Yeah, it was just like, because Coco has these freckles on his arms, right? Like little black spots on his white arms. And one day I looked at his forehead and I saw like four or five black things on his forehead. And I thought to myself, huh, that's weird. I never realized he had freckles on his forehead and then I saw one jump and that's when I knew okay we gotta take them in and get them treated for fleas so that's what we did I'm a very responsible cat owner I love my cats to the death and yeah I would really do anything for them uh, Miko was born with a hernia on the right side of his belly, so we have to get that treated as well when I get them neutered. I'm still honestly debating on if I want to get them neutered or not. I can't tell. It's still up in the air, but um, yeah, he has a hernia, so we need to get that fixed immediately. Um, he's had it ever since I've gotten him, so, yeah. Anyway, this was indeed a video about my cats. I feel proud of it, really. Like, I love my cats. I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a cat lover. I'm a crazy cat lady, whatever you want to call me. Um, I'm just so in love with these two little guys they're not so little anymore they're growing up they're about seven months old now eight months maybe and yeah so i love them anyway thanks for watching this video sticking around with me and i will see you the next time i upload Mwah. thanks guys bye